Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to go in great detail and talk about how you can actually add a video inside a collapsible row on the product page. Before I do that guys, if you want to get Shopify for 90 days for free, you can click in the link below in the description and use it. So guys, how do you do this and what is the use of it? Today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you got to put a video in a collapsible row. The first thing that you need to do is head over to your dashboard and click on online store. Once you click on online store, they're going to be a drop down which is going to have different elements from themes, blog posts, pages, navigation and preferences. We're going to go on theme. Once you click on theme, it's going to take you to the main themes that are available over here. So what we're going to do is if you look on the right side over here, it's going to say customize. Once we click on customize, it's going to open our page. Now on the page, you'll see all the different elements that are going to be here. Please do not be alarmed. It is very simple. If you follow this video step by step, you'll be able to do this. Now, if I scroll scroll on and show you exactly where we want the video to come it's going to be on this side over here where it says collapsible rows as you can see so we want a video that needs to come over here so how does that happen it is interesting if you follow all the steps in this video you'll be able to do that on the left hand side corner you're going to see these three dots once i click on it you'll be able to see a drop down which is going to talk about the edit code the edit language view the view documentation and get support what we will do is we'll click on edit code and once we do that it's going to open the next page on this page you're going to have the layout breakdown from the password from the themes and the templates as you can see there's a lot of files that are available and what happens is people get really confused and they don't know where to go what you actually need to do is head over to search files and then type in main dash product dot liquid now obviously once i write main dash pr we will be able to see the main product liquid once we click on it it's going to give us the complete code over here now guys this may seem overwhelming but don't be alarmed because i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get this done so as you scroll down we will have to insert a particular code so now we have this code we i'm going to show you exactly where to insert this code on what particular row so let's get back to the code now now let's head back to the product page once we get back to the product page we would have to add a block now once we select the block we'll be adding a collapsible row so we're going to to put the collapsible row beneath the description of the product now as you can see the collapsible row is now underneath the description so we're going to change the heading and we're going to put product video so as you can see the name of the collapsible row has changed to the product video once you look underneath the row content you can type whatever you want but you can't put a video over here so it's no use for us now we're going to manually add our own field now let us go to the code once we land on the code, we need to find schema. Now schema is on the 640th line. Now you can see as you scroll down from schema, what we need to find is rich text. So where it says rich text underneath of that is what we you would need to put a particular code. So as you scroll down and you keep scrolling, you will see where it says rich text over here. So over here is rich text content and obviously above the page and in between page and rich text, we will add the code. So let us get back where the code was and we're going to copy just the first bit and copy paste that into the code. As you can see, the code is now available inside the system. Now we're going to hit save. So after pressing save, we're going to go back to our main page and see if it's changed. Now, as you can see, the liquid where it says and the row that's included in the collapsible row is now available. So guys, this is how it's done. Now we're going to head back to the code because we need to add one more code. Now, if you search for collapsible, you'll find on the 251 line when collapsible tab. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see exactly where it says block setting and block setting page content now we have to put the code underneath in between two of these so we're going to press enter and once we press enter we're going to go back to our code over here and then we will select the block setting liquid that's the only thing we're going to select and we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it between the block setting and between the block setting page content we're going to align it to make sure it is in the perfect alignment with the other code and this is what we're going to do now we're going to hit save so now we're going to check how we can actually add different codes in our liquid field to see if it's actually working or not. So let's head back to our page and put a code over here. So for example, if you put the product description, we'll be able to see that the product description is going to be grabbed 
and we'll be able to see it in collapsible row as you can see on the screen right now. So guys, now this is complete, it's usable. So what we're gonna do is we can select any embedded code from YouTube and put that embedded code into our liquid description over here. And once we put that, that video is gonna start playing underneath the collapsible row. It's as simple, straightforward as that. So now let's head over to YouTube. Once you head over to YouTube and search, you'll be able to see the embedded code. Once we copy the code, we're gonna head back to the product page and copy and paste the code into the liquid field now as you can see the product video is going to be available over here to view but it's not responsive so we need to make it responsive so in order to make it responsive what we need to do is type in style then put a little bit of space then type style is again and then put space then head back to our code and copy and paste the responsive video code over here once you copy it this is what we're going to paste over here once we paste it you'll be able to see that this is going to become responsive. So now we're going to add the iframe class equals responsive video. Once you do that, you'll be able to see that the video becomes responsive as seen on your screen. Once all that is done, we're going to hit save and you're good to go. So guys, we can easily preview this on a full screen over here. Once we hit the collapsible, we'll be able to see the video embedded into our page. It is as simple, straightforward as that. And if you've not clicked in the description and got on a 90 days free Shopify account you can do that by clicking in the description below and getting the link there's a lot of options over here and obviously if you're thinking about adding more videos you can do it quite easily because this is a way a methodology that I've shown you right now step by step where you can add a lot of different elements inside this way now the thing over here that you need to keep in mind is the fact that if you are selling a different product if you're selling a service there is going to be a lot of videos and by using this methodology you can easily add multiple videos inside of your Shopify account and one of the things you got to keep in mind especially if you're selling on the Shopify is the fact that consumers and customers that come to your Shopify account want to see videos of how the product is going to look like who's going to be using it and obviously what use is it going to be and having videos like that available on your Shopify account will give you a chance to enhance your sales and take your marketing to the next level and by using this methodology step by step you will have a competitive advantage compared to the other Shopify accounts in the industry because this is something that people do not understand do not know and they don't have no clue of how to actually put this into their Shopify account but by following the methodology that I've shown you you can easily add multiple videos into your Shopify account to ensure that you get a competitive advantage by enhancing your sales and bringing your Shopify account to the next level if you want to add different themes you can easily do that if you go to the themes page over here and click on it you'll be able to get different themes and you can also add the videos to different themes as I've shown you so for example if you have a service that you are actually selling you can add videos related to your service multiple videos inside your Shopify account and if you have a product that you're selling you can add videos for every single product to show the people what the product actually does and that is the reason why a lot of people are turning to Shopify and using this methodology to get a competitive advantage in the market so if you have any questions whatsoever do let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to support you assist you and guide you if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon share this video with your friends and family so more people can find out how to add a video inside a collapsible row on the product page stay tuned for our next video until then take care